name is Greg, and today I'm going to show you a little science experiment. <clears throat> I have these two water bottles here. In this one I have helium, which is H1, and in this one I have F6S, which is sulfur hexafluoride. Now, I am sure that you know what helium does if it's inhaled. <clears throat> it causes the vocal cords to move more rapidly, which creates the uh, your voice to get higher pitch, to get your voice to become higher. Now, sulfur hexafluoride, you probably don't know what this does, but it's called the anti-helium. What it does is it causes your vocal cords to move more slowly, which causes your sound, your voice to be deeper. The, the reason is because helium, which has four grams per mole, um, is much smaller than this, which has 146 grams per mole, so it's much stronger, and the, the velocity of sound is 0.44, uh, the speed of sound, when heard through sulfur hexafluoride, so this would cause your voice to sound deeper and even be a little bit slower. So I'm going to, don't try this at home, but I would even show you that this does work, and I'm going to be very careful, I'm only take a little bit. Kind of wearing off now. Yeah, see? <clears throat> yeah, I, here we go. So I'm back to normal, but you see that it does create the sound to be higher. And now, here in this one, the sulfur hexafluoride, we're going to use now. faster now, but my voice is a little bit deeper, it's getting a little bit higher. And I believe I am good now. Yes. <clears throat> uh, you feel no pain, it just feels very odd to hear your own voice coming out differently than you, than you, than you know it should. Um, I would not recommend using these um, because they can be very harmful if you ingest too much. The gases can be very bad for you if you ingest too much. Uh, your voice cannot become stuck like that, but ingesting too much of a gas other than CO2 is not good. I hope you've enjoyed this experiment. Uh, rate and comment, please. <laughs>